Picture this, a time when television sets were more than just screens. They were portals to uncharted depths. It was 1958, and amidst the black and white world of entertainment, a splash of adventure burst forth. Sea Hunt, they called it, a TV series that submerged viewers into the mysteries of the ocean's abyss. Do you remember the first time you tuned into the mesmerizing tales of Mike Nelson's underwater escapades? The flicker of excitement in your eyes, the anticipation of discovering hidden treasures beneath the waves. Those were the moments that etched themselves into the chronicles of your memory. Perhaps it was the thrill of Mike Nelson's relentless determination as he navigated through perilous waters. Or maybe it was that heart-pounding instant when he faced down menacing sea creatures, reminding you of the untamed power of nature. And who could forget the breathtaking landscapes that unfolded beneath the waves, a universe so different from the everyday, it left you breathless. But let's not dwell solely on nostalgia, let's dive deeper. As we cast our gaze back at Sea Hunt, let's unearth some captivating facts that even the most ardent fans might not know. From the incredible stunts performed by Lloyd Bridges himself to the show's influence on inspiring a generation of ocean explorers, these are the anecdotes that enrich the story behind the scenes. So, let's journey together, you and I, into the past where adventure knew no bounds, where the sea held secrets waiting to be unveiled. From the iconic theme music that echoed in your mind to the heart-racing moments that held you captive, it's time to relive the magic that was Sea Hunt. As we delve into the intriguing snippets that lie beneath the surface, let's celebrate the show that forever altered our perspective of the deep blue. Ahoy, fellow explorer of the television abyss, let's embark on this expedition of knowledge and nostalgia. Join me in a voyage through time and tide as we uncover the hidden treasures of Sea Hunt. And remember, every splash, every twist, every gasp, they've all converged to shape the unforgettable tapestry of our shared fascination. Winston Churchill's underwater escape, a surprising TV favorite in an unexpected twist. It emerges that Sir Winston Churchill, the revered statesman known for his wartime leadership, found solace in an unlikely television show, Sea Hunt, the 1958 series that followed the aquatic adventures of diver Mike Nelson. According to the Manchester Reed biography of Churchill, the British icon, though not a television enthusiast, occasionally indulged in the underwater escapades portrayed on the small screen. However, the show's allure extended beyond the unexpected fan in Churchill. Actor Jack Ingram, who played a pivotal role in Sea Hunt, was also linked to the series off-screen. Ingram happened to be the proud owner of the very boat that graced the show's aquatic scenes. A 1961 33-feet Trojan Express cabin cruiser yacht, the vessel lent authenticity to the character of Mike Nelson, portrayed by Lloyd Bridges, particularly in the series' final season. This seamless integration of real-life elements added depth to the show's immersive experience, captivating audiences week after week. Speaking of Lloyd Bridges, the show's lead actor, his commitment to authenticity was not without its challenges. Bridges, known for his dedication to his craft, expressed concerns about the weight of his twin air tanks during topside retakes. In a creative solution, the art director ingeniously crafted lightweight twin tanks made from balsa wood, artfully painted silver. Remarkably, keen-eyed viewers can spot bridges using these innovative props in the earliest episodes, while real tanks remain reserved for underwater scenes. Sea Hunt, a series that submerged audiences into the world of underwater adventure, resonated beyond its immediate context. With an admirer as illustrious as Churchill, a boat owned by one of its own actors, and behind-the-scenes innovation, the show achieved a unique blend of authenticity and entertainment, making ripples in television history. Ingram's boat, Bridges' dedication, and Churchill's unlikely TV choice converged to unveil the multi-layered tapestry of Sea Hunt, a series that captured hearts both on and off the screen. Lloyd Bridges' environmental stand illuminates Sea Hunt's departure in a surprising turn of events. The iconic 1958 TV series Sea Hunt bids adieu to its leading man, Lloyd Bridges, after four seasons. The departure, marked by creative differences, uncloaks a clash between narrative directions. Bridges, a dedicated advocate for environmental themes, found himself at odds with the producers who sought to amplify cops and robbers' plots. As the waves of conflict churned behind the scenes, Bridges envisioned a greater emphasis on environmental concerns, using the show's watery backdrop as a canvas for awareness. 
Yet, the producers yearned for adrenaline-pumping escapades that veered into cops and robbers' storylines. A dichotomy emerged, and Bridges chose to leave the depths he had come to command. This parting of ways between the acclaimed actor and the series that had captured the imagination of million spotlights the broader struggle between artistry and commercial appeal. While the deep-sea adventures of Sea Hunt remained in the public's heart, the fissure that led to Bridges' departure etches a tale of ambition, ideals, and the delicate dance between creativity and commerce. The series' legacy endures, and Bridges' departure served as a poignant juncture, urging reflection on the balance between entertainment and the greater good. As audiences recall the aquatic exploits of Mike Nelson, portrayed by Bridges, his departure reverberates as a testament to the power of artistic conviction and a sea the of storytelling. The enigmatic notes of Sea Hunt's theme music in the realm of 1950s television. Few shows captivated audiences like Sea Hunt. As viewers were plunged into the underwater adventures of Mike Nelson, portrayed by the rugged Lloyd Bridges, they were also entranced by the show's distinctive theme music. A cloak of mystery surrounded the credits, attributing the composition to Ray Llewellyn, a name shrouded in enigma. While many believed this to be the alias of the renowned composer David Rose, an intriguing alternative theory has emerged. Research suggests that Llewellyn might have been an umbrella pseudonym under which Rose and other composers at Ziv Productions collaborated, working on budget-conscious or non-union projects. The theme's echoes were brought to life by several orchestras, including those led by Buddy Morrow and Patrick Cowley. Each rendition carried the essence of adventure that mirrored the show's underwater escapades. One cannot help but wonder if the identity of Ray Llewellyn will ever be definitively unraveled, much like the deep-sea mysteries that Mike Nelson fearlessly navigated. Just as Lloyd Bridges' character often exclaimed, then I saw it. Alluding to the unexpected discoveries beneath the waves, a hidden layer of intrigue envelops the creation of Sea Hunt's iconic theme music. So, as we sail through the annals of television history, the riddle of Ray Llewellyn remains unsolved, a melodic enigma that echoes across the depths of time. Lloyd Bridges' environmental vision shaped Sea Hunt legacy in the annals of television history. Few series have left as enduring a mark as the 1958 TV show Sea Hunt. Spearheaded by the charismatic Lloyd Bridges, the series followed the adventures of underwater expert Mike Nelson, capturing the imaginations of viewers worldwide. However, a pivotal turning point arrived after four seasons, as Bridges decided to leave the show, igniting a clash of creative visions. Bridges, known for his dedication to environmental causes, sought to infuse Sea Hunt with deeper environmental themes. His fascination with the ocean's mysteries and his concern for its preservation prompted him to push for storylines that highlighted the delicate balance between human activity and marine ecosystems. As the show's popularity soared, so did Bridges' desire to bring ecological awareness to the forefront of the series. However, as the show's trajectory veered towards cops and robbers' plots, Bridges found himself at odds with the producers. Their desire to emphasize high-stakes action and adrenaline-pumping scenarios diverged from his fervent wish to use the platform to advocate for marine conservation. A poignant moment crystallized this conflict when Bridges voiced his catchphrase, Then I saw it. A line that resonated not just as a search for physical objects, but also as a search for a thematic focus. Ultimately, Bridges made the difficult decision to depart from Sea Hunt after its fourth season, leaving behind a legacy that extended beyond entertainment. His devotion to environmental stewardship continues to inspire, echoing through subsequent generations of TV shows and media that champion environmental awareness. Notably, Sea Hunt wasn't just a national sensation. It achieved an unprecedented milestone as the first foreign show ever broadcast in Spain, breaking new ground in global television distribution. As Spanish audiences tuned in to witness Mike Nelson's underwater escapades, they unwittingly became a part of television history, cementing Sea Hunt as a trailblazing cultural phenomenon. Though Sea Hunt ventured into uncharted waters during its time, its significance still ripples through modern television and environmental discourse. Lloyd Bridges' unwavering commitment to his environmental vision, his catchphrase echoing as a testament to that conviction, serves as a reminder that television has the power not only to entertain, but to influence positive change. Then he saw it, a future where entertainment and advocacy could intertwine seamlessly, leaving a lasting impression beneath the waves and beyond the screens. 
Winston Churchill's surprising dive into television, a Sea Hunt connection in the annals of television history. The 1958 series Sea Hunt has cemented its place as a classic of underwater adventure. Amidst the waves of trivia, a fascinating nugget emerges, a tidbit connecting the indomitable Winston Churchill to the depths of Mike Nelson's aquatic exploits. According to the meticulously researched Manchester, read biography of Churchill, the venerable leader rarely succumbed to the televised allure. However, nestled in his sporadic small screen indulgences, a rather unexpected choice emerged, Sea Hunt. The show's underwater escapades seemed to have captured Churchill's attention, albeit fleetingly. The thought of the resolute statesman, oft preoccupied with weighty matters of state, finding solace in Lloyd Bridges' aquatic quests adds an unexpected facet to his legacy. Speaking of weight, Lloyd Bridges, the show's iconic lead, wasn't immune to its challenges either. Committed to authenticity, Bridges hauled real twin air tanks for the topside scenes, enduring the strain for the sake of realism. Yet, the rigors of retakes prompted an ingenious solution from the art director. Twin tanks, fashioned from lightweight balsa wood, glisten silver on screen, fooling viewers while easing Bridges' burden. Only the keenest eyed could discern the subtle switch, as only the earliest episodes sported the genuine tanks. Delving further into the realm of authenticity, the vessel that became synonymous with Sea Hunt had its own intriguing tale. A 1961 33 feet Trojan Express cabin cruiser yacht, it plied the waters under the ownership of actor Jack Ingram. But it was Lloyd Bridges' portrayal of Mike Nelson that brought this vessel into the annals of television history. The vessel's sleek lines and presence contributed to the show's allure, embodying the very spirit of aquatic exploration. So, as you dive into reruns of Sea Hunt, remember the unexpected Churchillian connection, the balsa wood roost that lightened Bridges' load, and the yacht that charted the course of the show. These submerged secrets add layers to the legacy of a show that continues to enthrall, decades after its initial broadcast. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Sea Hunt, our journey beneath the waves comes to a gentle ebb. The echoes of Mike Nelson's daring escapades and the mesmerizing underwater landscapes linger in our minds like a timeless melody. Each episode was more than just a TV show, it was a plunge into the depths of imagination, a gateway to a realm unknown. Now, as you take a moment to reflect, let the ripples of nostalgia wash over you. What moments made your heart race, your breath catch, and your sense of adventure ignite? Was it the intricate dance of sunlight and shadows beneath the surface? Or perhaps the unwavering determination of Mike Nelson, a modern-day explorer of the ocean's secrets? But this tale is not confined to the screen. It lives in your memories, woven into the tapestry of your own life's adventures. What did Sea Hunt mean to you? Did it kindle a passion for marine exploration, stir up dreams of underwater discovery, or simply offer a soothing escape from the shores of reality? Share your treasured memories, the stories that the tides of time have preserved. As we celebrate the impact of this classic series, let your voice become a part of the chorus. Your anecdotes, thoughts, and reflections are the pearls that continue to enrich the legacy of Sea Hunt. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, for reliving the awe and wonder that this series brought to our screens. Your time and interest have kept the spirit of adventure alive, bridging the gap between past and present, and enriching the tapestry of our collective nostalgia. Remember, your story is as unique as the depths of the ocean, and your connection to Sea Hunt is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Keep the memories alive, for they are the treasures that time cannot erode.